Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're gonna do a beer review. Um, this one is called Newcastle Brown Ale. And it comes in at 4.7% alcohol by volume. And uh, it's from uh, Petaluma, Californ California and Chicago, Illinois. I've had this beer before. Um, it's pretty tasty. But it's been a long time since I've had it and I've never reviewed it. Petaluma, California, Chicago, Illinois. It's very light. It's only 4.7, so it's like a session beer. It's pretty mass produced. You could get this stuff pretty much anywhere. Brewed and bottled and seen a man about a dog at Lagunitas. Huh. <laughs> okay. Talking about Lagunitas. That's what the label looks like. Okay, and there's the cap. We got this at 7 Eleven for like, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks for a six pack. Pretty, pretty inexpensive stuff. Um, yeah, it's like 1 10 in the morning. I just got off work a little bit. Got fireworks going on here. It's just so ridiculous. People have no respect. Um, yeah, although it is the 4th of July technically so but it is 1 10 a.m. Um, I just got off work I thought I'd squeeze in another beer review uh, before I go to bed um, there's no real literature on here it's only 130 calories it's pretty light um, but there's no real literature once again that's what the label looks like I'm sure most of you have heard of Newcastle Brown Ale, it's uh, been around for quite some time. Um, I've at some t uh, point in my life, I, it was a beer I was drinking back in the day um, before I got into craft. I don't even know if this is considered a craft beer or not, but um, let's uh, give her a go here. World famous Newcastle Brown Ale. It's got some little hop cones. If you look real close, they're right there. All right. So we have a big, frothy, creamy, silky looking head, kind of off like a light tan color. It's definitely not like straight white. And uh, we have a pretty much a clear brown color. Looks pretty much like a brown, real thin, real clear. The head's got a bunch of uh, pockets opening up there. It's a good looking beer, nice color. I normally wouldn't buy this, but I thought, uh, you know, it's uh, such a popular beer that I'd go ahead and give her a go. Sorry about that. Alright. Pretty much like a brown color, you can see through it. All right, let's get an aroma on this puppy. I don't expect much. 4.7 percent. Yeah, right up front, I'm getting like a light roasted malt note. Actually, like a little bit of chocolate. Smells pretty good actually. Nice chocolatey note. Light roasted malts. 
real light though that's pretty much what I got let's get a hit cheers Oh yeah, the taste follows the aroma. Uh, it's really, really a light though. I mean, like I said, I'm not expecting much for 4.7. But it does taste good for a lighter beer. It's really good uh, session beer. You could pull on these for quite some time. You'd be just fine. Um, it definitely has a good flavor for um a light beer though. It's got some fizziness on the tongue. It's got a medium mouth feel though. Uh, it is thin, a little little watery. To be expected though for such an, a light ABV beer. It does have some nice head retention though. It's got a real light kind of hoppiness to it but it's not like uh, any kind of hop flavor it's just more like a hop slight hop bitterness leaving a little lacing on the glass uh, this is more like something you drink to session or maybe if you're actually thirsty and you want to quench your thirst this would do the trick it definitely tastes better than water Let's see if we can pick up something else. Cheers. Yeah, just some roasted malts. A little bit of kind of chocolate. A little tiny bit of hot bitterness. Not much though. I didn't expect much with this though either. But this would definitely be a good beer to uh, drink, and you know, if, if you don't want to drink any like Pilsner or nothing like that, and uh, you're maybe a, like a beginner and you want to try something else, this would be good also. Let's swill it one more time and then we'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah, roasted, light roasted malts, light chocolate. Very light hop bitterness. Really not much else. Very easy drinking, thin and watery. Not much malt backbone to it. Not much of much really. Just um, a nice tasting light, basically a light beer. That's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Newcastle Brown Ale. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to give this puppy a well, two and a half being C, just average. This is definitely tastier than just an average beer. So, um, I'm going to give this a uh, 2.9. It's definitely better than average. So, 2.9 it is. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Um, I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. And um, y'all have an awesome 4th of July today. Be safe and uh, we'll check you later. See ya.